Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Today is October 2. Welcome to Lunchbox, your daily food of inspiration. Mga kapatid, naranasan mo na bang maliitin? Naranasan mo na bang hindi paniwalaan kasi ang tingin sa iyong maliit? I remember the story of a mother bird. High up in the crotch of a tree, a mother bird sat on the eggs in her nest. Then she suddenly noticed a python slowly, silently slithering towards her. The poor bird, what could she do to protect her eggs from the menacing snake? A monkey came by, saw the situation and told the mother bird, Don't be afraid, I'll get rid of that python. I'll throw stones at him. But then, he'll break my eggs, the mother bird said. Along rumbled a big elephant. He too saw the dangerous situation and assured the mother bird, Relax and stop crying. I'll get rid of that python. I'll pull the tree right out of the ground. Wait a minute, said the mother bird. Then you will break all my eggs. With that, the mother bird came to the conclusion that the giants of the forest were not able to drive away the python without breaking her eggs. Suddenly, she hit upon an idea just as she was ready to abandon the eggs. She would ask the ants to help her. Suddenly, thousands of them came running right up the tree trunk, covered the python completely from nose to tail tip, and left nothing of him except his skin and skeleton. Bravo! said the mother bird to her heroes. Now my young ones are safe and I can get back to work. Mga kapatid, narinig po natin sa kwentong ito, the power of the little ones, the power of the ants. Pero bagamat maliit, dahil marami, ay natalo nila ang python na ito at natulungan ang mother bird. Mga kapatid, dito pinapakita na huwag nating mamaliiti ang ibang tao sapagkat bagamat sila ay maliit physically, baka sila pa ang mas higit na makakatulong sa ating mga problema. And that is why in the gospel, Jesus himself emphasized when he said, Ingatan ninyo na huwag hamakin na isa sa maliliit na ito. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, sa langit, ang kanilang mga anghel ay nasa harapan ng aking ama. Ito ay nangyari ng patayuin ni Jesus ang isang bata sa harapan ng kanyang mga alaga. My brothers and sisters, Jesus in the gospel acknowledges the power of the little ones in the form of a child. At sa buhay, daranas tayo ng iba't ibang pagsubok. Kinakailangan natin ng tulong ng iba. Mga kapatid, sa unang pagbasa, si Job ay dumanas ng maraming pagsubok sa buhay. At dumating sa punto na gusto na niyang sumuko. Kaya nga ba't sinabi niya, Bakit pa isinilang ang tao kung wala rin lang namang kaginhawaan? Bagpos hirap, kabi-kabila ang nararanasan. Para ba siya sabi ni Job na napakaliit niya? para harapin ang mga pagsubok na ito at para bangong wala na siyang magagawa. Pero mga kapatid, ang hamon po sa atin sa araw na ito, bagamat minsan maliit ang ating tingin sa ating sarili, sa laki ng problema na ating kinahaharap, bagamat minsan maliit ang tingin natin sa iba, kumpara sa maraming mga malaking tao na pwedeng tumulong sa atin, let us not underestimate the power of the small. And that is why, your brothers and sisters, I remember the words of an author. He said, Anyone who thinks that they are too small to make a difference has never tried to fall asleep with a mosquito in the room. My dear friends, if you were inspired by this video, I hope and pray that you like it, share it, and subscribe. Once again, this is Father Tristan Jasper de la Fortesa from the Diocese of Novaliches. Remember, bring your lunchbox, your daily food of inspiration. See you on my next video. God bless.